Hello and welcome to another CAD clip on AutoCAD 2007, 3D stuff we're talking about and in this uh, particular lesson we're talking about over on the dashboard here, convert to surface. So what you can do then is you're, you're creating surfaces from various objects. So I'm going to start by clicking on that command. I'm going to hit my good old F1 command which brings up my help menu and I'm going to have a look at this and this command F1 bumps you straight into the help for that particular command if it's if it's been activated and it converts objects to surfaces basically it converts objects to surfaces and the process is here and you can see that you can create um, a surface from a 2D solid so this is a 2D solid and this gets converted converted to a surface this is a region okay and this is the resultant surface okay this is a splined or looks like a fit curved polyline with a zero width but a thickness a height type thing and then it creates a surface from that this is a line with thickness and the resultant is that surface this is an arc with thickness and it creates that surface and this is a 3d face and it creates a surface so here we have these here surface 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 and the pr the objects they start from over here okay so we'll just go back to our screen I've just done a bit of a screen capture on that and I'm gonna do these one at a time just to kinda go through them so first thing I'm gonna create is a 2d solid and that command believe it or not is solid solid and you have to kinda make a bow tie type shape uh, and I'm not gonna get into that but I'm gonna go click one read my command line second point third point, fourth point. And then I can continue by going third point, fourth point, you know, third point, fourth point, and continue making these, okay? I'm going to erase these. They're individual. So that is, a t if I list it, is a solid, but it's a 2D solid, okay? I might be able to push, pull, or extrude it, however. So what I'm going to do now is go down here, convert to surface, pick on my 2D solid, enter, and it's done. Then I'm going to take this thing and move that over. That was the new surface. If I go to a 3D view, okay, I can't see that. That's my original, just my posting. And then if I go to my conceptual view, okay, if I list this, that's a, a solid. It's a 2D solid because the zeros are all, the Zs are zero. And if I list this, this is a planar surface. So converted that 2D solid to a surface. Basically, that's all it did. Okay, I'm going to go back to here, back to my wireframe so I can read my notes. A region, okay? I'm going to draw a polyline. I'm going to click around, doesn't matter, however I want, C for close. I'm going to type R-E-G-I-O-N. I'm going to select this object. I'm going to turn it into a region. If I list this, tells me it's a region, okay? And we can learn more about regions as well, but I'm going to go back to my 3D view. And I'm going to use my convert to surface, pick on the region, enter, and I'm done. Move that over. And remember our, our DELOBJ setting. Setting to zero means don't delete the original object. So there's our two new surfaces created from a 2D solid and a region. Okay. Working our way through. Okay. Uh, an open zero width polyline with a thickness. So let's draw a polyline here. Okay, it's open it has a width of zero remember width gives it kind of a 2d width and I'm gonna say PE for polyline edit I'm gonna pick on it I'm gonna say F for fit curve and hit enter okay I'm gonna go to a 3d view I'm gonna say convert to surface pick on here oh I need to give it a thickness sorry I'm gonna give this a thickness of 10 okay polyline fit curve thickness now I'm gonna go to here convert to surface pick on here enter and it's done okay move L for last there's the surface I created okay and it has surface properties etc okay created from a polyline with open polyline with a thickness okay back to here we can talk about just a line I'm not even going to do the line example because it's exactly the same as this except for we use just a regular old line arc is the same thing I can say a for arc you know draw an arc Okay, I can take that arc and I can give that arc a thickness of 25, hit enter, go to my 3D view, 
convert to surface this enter and then M for move L for last create that and there I've got another surface okay and you can read up some more on the usefulness of surfaces and really with the new tools you can use to create your 3d models we're using a combination of primitives and surfaces etc and even objects with thickness okay let's go back to our top view here lastly we are going to deal with a 3d uh, face so we need to draw some 3D faces, just another object type, okay, an object we used a lot more in the past. And I'm just going to type in 3D face, and I'm going to pick one, two, there's only four corners on a 3D face, click here and there. And now I'm going to take my ortho off, pick over here and over here, and then go over here and over here and over here and over here. And these can be in 3D, of course, these are laying down flat. Okay, and these are all different faces, and I only really need one. Okay, it doesn't matter. Maybe I can do more than one at a time. Let's try that. Okay, let's go to my 3D view. Okay, there's my new 3D faces. I'm going to say convert to surface, bank, enter, and it creates them all. And then I can move those off as individual surfaces created from my original 3D faces. So you can do more than one at a time. So I would experiment a little bit more with that, but nothing complicated, okay? Back to my top view. So creating 3D faces and converting 2D solids, regions, polylines with thickness, lines with thickness, arcs with thickness, and 3D faces, converting those all to be the new surface objects.